Ladies and gentlemen, the story we're about to hear is true. I'm a detective. Abramowitz, Joe, just the facts, ma'am. I didn't see anything, but I know what happened. So, the people were on their journey out of slavery. Their leader, Moses, is up on Mount Sinai talking with God. He left his brother, Aaron, in charge. What are the people doing? <laughs> They're mucking around, getting crazier and crazier, like people will do when they don't have strong leadership. A nation needs a commander that holds everyone up to a higher standard and leads by moral example. Sound familiar? Well, well anyway, the people got to the point where they weren't concerned with the one God, spelled with a capital G. I'll explain this. God with a capital G is the God of Abraham in the Bible. God with a lowercase g is any of the other things people choose to worship. Like for example, the golden calf in this story. The people were carrying on so much that Aaron couldn't take it. He gave into this madness. He told them to bring all their gold bracelets, earrings, necklaces, and their rings to him. The women tried to stop it, but the men were forceful. Aaron melted it all down and fashioned it into the shape of a calf. The next morning, they offered up burnt offerings. God, with a capital G, saw all this nonsense and said to Moses, go down there because your people are corrupting themselves. Moses went down the mountain. And by the way, he was carrying the two tablets that had the Ten Commandments written on them. When Moses got near and saw the golden calf and the people just dancing around, singing and running amok, he got so angry that he threw the tablets and they broke. <laughs> Crash right there. Moses destroyed the golden calf. He told the people they were messing up big time. Moses said, whoever is for the Lord, come to me. The tribe of the Levites ran to him. Moses said he would go back up to the top of the mountain and beg God's forgiveness for the crazy sinful actions of the people. They had to pay for their sins. God did show mercy by giving a second set of the Ten Commandments. Moses came back down once more with two tablets containing the Ten Commandments. Bottom line, we should know what we are doing. I mean, don't drink the Kool-Aid. We are responsible for our individual actions. The Golden Calf, Exodus chapter 32, verses 4. And keep reading. Well, we're done for today. I'm leaving. Please view the comments from A.M. Jordan.